Well, take your Bible, if you would, and go to Mark chapter number 9. We're going to skip way ahead. We're going to travel through a little bit. Um, a, a few of the disciples were with Jesus experiencing what is called the transfiguration. It's when the glory of God is, is openly revealed. And, and I, I don't know how these three men or the, these couple of men that were with him could not have full faith after witnessing what they witnessed but but that's that's the same for us too god does amazing things for us and yet we still behave unfaithfully well while they were up on the mountaintop experiencing that transfiguration the disciple the rest of the disciples were down below uh, taking care of needs as people came to them because people knew that was jesus entourage and they were coming to him uh, but he wasn't there. So the disciples were doing their very best to take care of needs. And then this one particular need just would not go away. Uh, this uh, man brought his son and, and he was demon possessed. And the, the demon would throw him in the fire and, and try to cut him. And, and really the, the whole family was stuck in this bad situation. And the disciples did everything they knew to do uh, to, to make it go, make it be a better circumstance for him to meet the need to, to get the demon out but but for some reason they just could not in that moment and and uh, Jesus will deal with that but I want to I want to talk to you about this one verse because Jesus has an exchange with this man they're talking back and forth and he really believes that that God could do this yet at the same time he recognizes that doubt does flood into him and and so so in verse number 23 Jesus says I I, I want to do this for you, and if you can believe, I can do it. And so Jesus said to him, Thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child, child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, listen to this, help my unbelief. Believe. I think sometimes we get really caught up in what we do believe and how some people are, are are not good believers, but we're such a good believer until that circumstance comes up where it's beyond our comprehension or it's beyond our ability to stay focused on what the Lord can do. And so Jesus confronts this man's belief, unbelief. He says, if you can really believe this is going to happen for you, and the man says, I believe and you pick up the slack where my faith is weak and, and and we all need that and so i want to encourage you today if you're a believer in the lord jesus christ that you um come to him and and lay it out before him yes i believe but here are my struggle points lord help me in my unbelief and so i just wanted to leave that with you this morning because i think it's going to change the way you approach difficult times uh, a lot of times we'll have really good faith we'll worship and smile and everything is great when things are marginally good or better and yet when things get tough for us we struggle to continue to maintain that that joy and that right spirit even in the difficulty sometimes we lash out at others or are short-tempered with them and Sometimes we can even be very unforgiving. And so I want to encourage you to go before the Lord today and just say, God, help me in my unbelief. And I know that it may not make the circumstances of the day immediately better, but it will certainly open the floodgates of the Lord, uh, Lord's blessing into our lives, uh, at least the ones that we can see. You know, sometimes we can't even see the blessings that are coming in. And so I want to encourage you with that today. Uh, we need to call out to the Lord and ask him to help us in our unbelief, even if we are believers. And so let that give you a much better day.